I thought, no, it won't happen to me, but it happened, yeah. and it does happen. I mean, it all started off with just a couple of drinks, maybe in the evening. The thing is, once alcohol and drug addiction get to a certain degree, it is impossible to hide it, because you think you're behaving normally, completely normally, but to the rest of the outside world, you're not. You know, it's like you walk into a pub thinking that you're James Bond, everybody sees Johnny English. 22 months ago, I just didn't want to carry on. Uh, I live at Acorn House in Shoreditch High Street. It's a, re a rehabilitation unit for homeless people that have had drink and alcohol problems. You know, when there is help for people out there, there are people that will go to the ends of the earth for you, especially if they're in recovery, because we know what it's like. Smoking a cannabis joint was the beginning. It was a laugh. Having my first mouth of alcohol was a laugh. I didn't, you know, I didn't see myself as being an alcoholic. You know, I wanted to be a nurse when I grew up or a chef. Then um, I had plans, but then plans were taken away by alcohol. And then it ended up with drinking when I got up in the morning at work, before I went to work, to drinking on the bus on the way to work, to drinking on my walk out when I was delivering the post, to then drinking whilst I was seeing my son and my partner, to then going back to my place, having more on the bus and more indoors at home. And then waking up shaking uncontrollably and having to have more drink to stop the shakes before I went to work. I would sleep on Holborn Viaducts on the steps near Smithfield. It was a scary place. It's where I'd slept before, but it was sheltered away from the rain. People were using that as a urinal. I was staying in this rat-infested... Well, it was basically a squat, but um, <laughs> we were still paying rent. But, um, yeah, and I even had a, like a suicide kit next to my, the mattress I was sleeping on, and every morning I was trying to find a new reason not to, not to do it. And, you know, woke up one morning, the place was just strewn with whiskey bottles, beer cans, you know, heroin joint butts and and I couldn't think of a reason. Been currently on and off the streets and um, for 23 years since I was 13 years old. Um, I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. Um, my main choice of drugs were alcohol, butane gas, solvents and it was recreational drugs in the beginning in the 90s right through to heroin and crack. I wasn't cut out to be on the streets. My year on the streets was hell. I hated it. I was too scared to go to, to sleep at nights, in doorways, in graveyards, places like that. I ended up sleeping behind St Bartholomew's Hospital and along um, a Holborn Viaduct. Um, I spent three and a half months out on the streets and two months in a hostel in Finsbury Park. Within two weeks of being in Finsbury Park, I was mainlining heroin and crack cocaine again. I've been an alcoholic most of my adult life. Um, but it really became a problem in my late 20s, around the age of 27, 28. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, it took everything from me, you know. Um, lost a fiance, lost a career, lost a house, lost all my possessions, you know. I literally had nothing. I was wearing everything that I owned. I was living under a bridge or in bin shoots. This would be my 12th attempt at rehab, because um, the battle has been continuous. Um, in and out of hostels, rolling shelters. I was referred to, um, to Acorn House by an agency called Bench Outreach. In 2013, I was picked up by the outreach team who encouraged me to come and have a look at Acorn House. My first week here was particularly brutal. Um, and there was one night in particular which then spilled into the next day where I was climbing the walls. And if I didn't have the security of this place, and again, the staff and the residents and the programme, and I'm sure people have mentioned a big book by now, um, I would have quite happily thrown myself under a train. They offered me a bed which was available, and I moved in straight away. It was the best move I've made in years. My sponsor's local here. He's a, a wood restorer and a chippy by trade. Uh, and he's um, got 10 years sobriety under his belt. He's got a sponsor as well, so he's like a, a chain of us. The staff here are recovering addicts and alcoholics, so there's no pulling the wool over their eyes. You can't get away with anything. For the first time in a long time, I feel like I'm in an environment where I'm safe. This is the only 
the only hostel that I know of in this area with a 12-step program that takes people away from a life of misery and turns them back into worthwhile human beings. And yeah, Acorn House, you know, I'm not being melodramatic or over-exaggerating when I'm saying that Acorn House really has saved my life. It really genuinely has.